Hello! This is a video game that I wrote that runs on an AVR. Pretty basic, it's kind of a mimic of another game that was developed at MAGFest. It's uh, pretty clear here, you just press escape, you can play some things, and whatnot. Now you might be saying, oh, how are you getting video out of the AVR? Well, quite simple, it's with GPIO. Unlike other systems, which will use one of the analog devices that are expensive, I don't know, it's something like $9 to be able to get your color NTSC video out, I'm way too cheap for that. Instead, what I found out was that simply by using general purpose I.O., you can have resistors and you can encode your own color burst and your own chroma signal directly into the NTSC video stream. By doing this, we can save a couple bucks and a little bit of board area. Not very much, but it's certainly worth it to get some kicks. So by putting all of the resistors in parallel with the general purpose I.O. on the AVR, you can control both the luma, that is the brightness, both light and dark, and the chroma. So for a normal NTSC signal, you have kind of a sync, which is a very low value. You go up to a front porch here, which has the, uh, like the level as to what black will be. And if you want to do color, you have to encode a little burst of 3.8 megahertz on top of that. And that little burst gives the TV the phase. So anytime that you repeat this somewhere else in there, it's going to compare the phase of this chroma right here to the phase of that chroma right there and produce a color. So simply by, in general purpose I.O., setting this up and then turning on the chroma I.O. pin at the right times, you can generate any color you'd like, well, to a fair bit of quantization several colors that you may like onto the television without any ado. So this is an interesting way to get around needing to have one of those analog devices in order to generate your chroma signal simply by using a GPIO. I thought it was kind of fun.